Be right with you, Zay. <clears throat> yep, yeah, howdy y'all. Um, just uh, giving you a spring report because it's March 20th, so we're, we're into spring now. Give or take an hour or two. Work on the uh, Skynet continues unabated. Uh, more franchises all the time. So you know we're uh, yeah. we're definitely set to launch <clears throat> for any uh, blue beam appearances or apparitions or whatever <clears throat> or what have you. Of course, the uh, heliostat model for uh, longer uh, longer distance broadcasts from the main terminal are, are uh, being issued now in the uh, second shipping container. Including uh, hydrogen generator kits for them. to use the full solar spectrum. Uh, and what do we uh, settle on a minimum endurance of 30 days under most extreme operating conditions? Uh, and even then that presumes no precipitation. If you can collect precipitation, obviously you can keep making hydrogen and stay up indefinitely. <clears throat> but that's the onboard reserves, say, uh, say in the dark days of Ragnarok, in the early dark days of Ragnarok.
so whatever level we get to for our next Carrington or uh, natural uh, EMP or, or man-made EMP, which, you know, whether it's a false flag or a <clears throat> pissed off North Korean scientist that wants a bench for you wiping out his geno line in his village with your carpet bombing or whatever, you know. Um, Just be glad he's not going for La Palma Island or whatever. I'm going to take out the whole East Coast because it could always do that. You know, you can do that with a tanker of uh, natural gas or LPG. No problem. Don't even need a very big one. That's why you got a Maitreya. You got to always remember you're all one. Enough of the stupid talking, murderous talking monkey lectures. Um, <clears throat> you go ahead and compete yourselves to death, you that are hell bent on that, and that's all you can do. And <clears throat> if anything survives, it'll continue on for however long it can, and that's greatly diminished capacity. Uh, I mean, that's, that's nature, right? So you go ahead, you be whatever you're gonna be, and um, that's uh, all that needs to be said about that. And we hell bent on survival are just gonna keep doing our things and uh, personally I mean the, the the joke of a communication infrastructure as it exists the uh, the web is so compromised it's you know, questionable if it's worth spending your po your time I guess if you've got spare time otherwise just you know concentrate on your own personal survival plan and um, I think anyone that isn't so far gone would have awoken by now and you know at least pondered on the reality for a short time and uh and that is about that but it's your own personal decision i guess when you feel enough closure uh in the kind of reverse pre-grieving process yeah pre-grieving that's that's a good way to look at it as though you could compare the personal experience of grieving someone that was imprinted on you to, you know, a species extinction or, um, dog forbid, an entire world extinction. So, you know, continue and there's, there's the golden moment when these fools take out their communication infrastructure. Uh, you know, of course we built it in mind so it can't be, um, hijacked or acquisitioned or requisitioned or annexed or whatever you want. I, it's the whole idea of having that 200 mile reflective range so you can be offshore for your uh, broadcaster, right? And then just relay it with uh, helio stats over whatever distance you is practical. Because, <clears throat> I mean, you are transmitting through air and whatever is in the air, right? So, And uh, there you have your spring report. Uh, enjoy your spring. I would think you'd want to perfect your food growing skills or hone up on them or, you know, uh, begin to nourish them and germinate them seeds. And... Um, We'll be in touch even when no one else says. Because <laughs> we invested wisely, right? Enjoy the uh, common communication co-op report, including the uh, page from the uh, creative division. Peace out, y'all.